Hello, everyone. Today, we bring you news from the Asian markets, where China and Hong Kong stocks saw a rise on hopes of stimulus measures. Let's dive into the details. In China, the blue chip CSI 300 index closed with a 1% gain, while the Shanghai Composite Index climbed by 0.6%. Over in Hong Kong, the benchmark Hang Seng Index saw a rise of 1.1%, and the China Enterprises Index added 0.9%. This week, both the CSI 300 Index and the Hang Seng Index recorded their best weekly performances in five months, with gains of 2.8% and 3.4% respectively. Sources involved in policy discussions revealed that China is planning to introduce more stimulus measures to support its slowing economy. However, concerns over debt and capital flight will likely result in targeted measures aimed at bolstering demand in the consumer and private sectors. According to the Wall Street Journal, Beijing is considering issuing special treasury bonds worth approximately 1 trillion yuan, $140.17 billion, to assist indebted local governments and boost business confidence. Despite these reports, UBS senior China economist Ning Zhang suggested that China is unlikely to issue such bonds in the near future, unless there is a significant deterioration in the economy and exports weaken more than expected. UBS also lowered its GDP growth forecast for China in 2023 to 5.2%, .2%, citing softer-than-anticipated growth in the second quarter. Nonetheless, the hopes of stimulus measures have fueled market optimism. Morgan Stanley analysts noted that trading volume increased as hopes for easing grew. Open market operations and medium-term policy loan rate cuts provided support to the market. The analysts also mentioned that they anticipate further easing efforts to be implemented in late June or early July, which they believe will be crucial for a revival in confidence. In terms of sectors, stocks related to artificial intelligence, AI, saw significant gains, with Kunlun Tech surging by 11.6%. As the week concludes, investors remain optimistic about the potential stimulus measures in China, leading to the positive market performance we witnessed today. That's all for now. Stay tuned for more updates on the financial markets.